NatWest fined £264 million for laundering cash in garbage bags. There were so many black bin liners full of cash placed at one NatWest branch that the two floor-to-ceiling safes were inadequate to store it all. A five-year deposit of £365 million by Bradford jeweller Fowler Oldfield, including £264 million in cash, exceeded the bank's initial expectation of a £15 million annual turnover from the customer. An investigation by the National Crime Agency revealed that this money may have been tied to the trafficking in restricted drugs since it was put in large amounts of Scottish banknotes. Large quantities of Scottish banknotes found in England were seen as a sign of illegal activity by authorities. Royal Bank of Scotland subsidiary NatWest pled guilty to three money laundering charges in October. Between 8 November 2012 and 23 June 2016, it failed to adequately supervise Fowler Oldfield's actions. Monday, Mrs. Justice Cockerell penalised the bank £264,772,620 and ordered it to pay costs of £3,297,466. A UK financial firm has been charged with money laundering for the first time by the Financial Conduct Authority FCA purportedly purchasing waste gold and selling it to jewellers in bars or grain, said prosecutor Claire Montgomery QC. Between January 2015 and March 2016, Southall received £42 million in cash from over 50 branches around the nation, yet no one reported it as a suspicious transaction. One day, the Walsall branch received £700,000. Banks in London's Piccadilly and New Bond Street feared they would be overwhelmed by deposits of several millions of pounds. In a cash centre, several Scottish notes were found that smelt, musty, as if kept under the floorboards, the court was told. But the financial crime manager believes there are macroeconomic reasons for the surge in cash deposits, according to a leaving manager of another cash facility. For around £165 million in payments from Fowler Oldfield, NatWest's automated monitoring system recognised direct cash transactions as check deposits between 2008 and March 2017. £1 billion will be spent fighting financial crime over the next five years, the court heard. While one programme's completion date was moved back from 2020 to 2023, Montgomery said the FCA still has issues.